In this lesson, we're going to learn about the Quick Access Toolbar and how to customize it by adding your own commands to it. Microsoft got rid of the ability to make your own custom toolbars, but they left us with the Quick Access Toolbar that we can add our own commands to. Now, one of the problems with the new ribbon system is that it's not easy to customize that ribbon. Yes, it can be done, but it involves some really crazy stuff, which we're not going to talk about today. However, you can customize this guy up here. This is called the Quick Access Toolbar. There are some basic things on here like Save and Undo in the Format Painter. But if you drop this little box down here, you can add more stuff to it. Right? You can see here, Save, Undo, and Redo. All right. How about New? Well, now I've just added the New button on there, which creates a blank new document. All right. Don't want that anymore? Turn it off. All right. Want open on here? There's the open button. Okay, so you can customize which one of these features you want on there. Right, spelling and grammar, draw a table. Okay, more commands opens up this window, this big thing. Okay, this is under Word Options Customize. This would be the same as if you went up here and clicked on this button, the Office button, and then came down to Word Options and then came up to customize. All right, same same thing, just a shortcut to get to it. All right, now over here on the left, you can see all the commands that can go in the quick access toolbar, which is most of them. And over here you'll see the stuff that's actually in the quick access toolbar. All right, so you can put draw a table, edit footer, email, how about email? All right, double click on it or just click on it once and hit the add button. You can add a separator if you want to. All right, a separator just separates the buttons, if you will. Okay, I'll show you in a second. Insert hyperlink, right, I'll click Add, or you can just double click on it. If you want to move these commands around, you see these little arrows over here, right? You can move, let's say, uh, the Format Painter down, like that. Let's see what we got, I'll hit OK. And now take a look at my Quick Toolbar. There's my buttons, there's my email, there's my separator, the hyperlink, and my format painter that I moved around. All right, let's go back in here, more commands. Now you can either change the quick access toolbar for all documents, which is the default that changes it for any new document, so all the time while you're working with Word, or drop this down and just change this specific document. For example, let's say normally you don't need half of these buttons, but you've got a specific document that's a template that you use that's um, you know, a big long legal document and in there you want some of the special commands that you pretty much are only going to use for this document but on this document you're going to need these commands a lot so you can add those and then only save that to the specific document instead of for all of Word. If what you see isn't on the list of popular commands you can drop this down and pretty much pick any one of these tabs that you want like here's the page layout tab Right, align objects to bottom. Pretty much any command you can think of is going to be in here. Okay, the mailings tab. Right, I use insert comment a lot, so maybe I'll come over here and go to the review tab and find here's my comments. Right, scroll down and there's new comment. I'll add that. Okay, I use comments a lot. Now, if after customizing the quick access toolbar, you decide that well, you really want it to go back to the default. You don't need all these buttons. Just hit this reset button here. And it'll say, are you sure you want to restore the quick access toolbar shared between all documents to its default contents? If you say yes, then it goes right back to the way it was. And Format Painter isn't on there normally. I added it before. So normally all you get is save, undo, and redo. One more option in here worth noting is the show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. If you check that on, you'll see the quick access toolbar appears down here below the ribbon. If you've got a lot of commands, you might want to have that down here because you get more room to work with as opposed to above it. You can actually drop that down and pick it here too. Right? There's show above the ribbon. And that puts it back up here on top in this little cubby hole it's got. Now most of the commands on the ribbon, you can actually right click on it and pick Add to Quick Access Toolbar. That's a, a fast and easy way to just drop it on there. See that? I put Sort up there. Okay? Or if you want to put, um, let's say, the highlighter pen. Right-click on it. 
add to quick access toolbar, and there it is. All right, it's, sometimes it's easier to go through here, find the command that you want, like start mail merge, and then just hit add to quick access toolbar. All right, I'll come back in here, go to customize, more commands, and then I'll hit the reset button. And that should put it back the way that it was. Okay. Another couple of cool things in here. You can also find commands that are not on the ribbon. All right, these are all commands that are either on custom dialog boxes that pop up, or you can, you can only get them by right-clicking on something. Okay, you can also scroll down this list and find some neat stuff in here. For example, um, there are buttons to launch other Office applications. All right, there's all the mail merge steps. Here's all the Office applications. If you want to be able to launch Excel quickly from inside a Word. All right, here's all the contrasts and brightness buttons. You won't find those on the ribbon. Okay. You can also pick from, if you scroll down this list, you can also pick from the other tabs that don't normally show up on the ribbon. All right. For example, the header and footer tools or the picture tools that we saw earlier. These are all the commands that are on the picture tools format tab that don't normally show up unless you've got a picture selected. Okay. And here they all are.